Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. So today we are going to continue our series on the solving tips for the basic variants that are there in the Sudoku world. Before we get on to the puzzle, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you all for all the love and support that you guys have showered on us. The response to our series on the solving techniques, whether it be the classics or the variants, has been tremendous and overwhelming. So thank you once again. And as a token of our appreciation, we have a surprise for you. That's right. So after, I mean, once I explain the tips and the techniques, I will obviously be solving a the variant for you. And the link to the variant will be there in the description of the video. So you can go there and try to solve it on your own. However, as a bonus, I will be adding a link to an additional puzzle for you. So it's not that you will only be solving the puzzle that I have already solved, but you can solve it to test out what you have learned and also test out the strategies on an absolute new puzzle. So you don't have to go around looking for a variant on the internet to try and test out your knowledge. To be very honest, this idea was given to me by my close friend Swaroop, who is also a member, a regular feature in the Indian team at the World Puzzle Championships. And I thought, yes, it would be an appropriate gesture from our end to acknowledge the love and the support that you guys have given. So do not forget, there will be two links in the description, one for the puzzle that I will be solving and a second, a brand new puzzle for you. All right. So look out that we, we will be providing you with this extra puzzle every day in the videos. So keep an eye out on the link. So if you have not subscribed, subscribed to the channel, I suggest you do that right away. Not every day will you be getting an extra bonus puzzle for you to solve. All right. So continuing the series, today we will have a look at the palindrome Sudoku. This is a very common uh, variant which you will find in a lot of the competitions that take place. And this puzzle that you see in front of you was created by me about seven to eight years back. I don't remember. So I thought I'll just present this because this puzzle has been used a lot in the information booklets of the Logic Masters India website whenever they hold a competition and that involves a palindrome Sudoku. So the rules are, the rules of classic Sudoku apply, obviously. Additionally, digits on the any given line form a palindrome. Now you know that palindrome is a word which reads the same when read from either direction, either left to right or right to left. Sorry. Similarly, the digits along the line form a palindrome. So for example, if this was 5, the other end also would be a 5 and if this was a 4, this would be a 4. This is just, I'm just trying to showcase how the numbers would read from both ends. Alright. So that is the only additional rule that is there. Now there are no, like for non-consecutive and the antinite that we saw, there were various ways we were adding new techniques and tips. The only tip for solving a palindrome Sudoku is to heavily pencil mark it. Because when you pencil mark it, at any two opposite ends, common numbers will definitely be a possibility. But if there is a digit which occurs only at one end and is not possible at the other end, we can eliminate them. So for example, if I look at this cell, which is the start of the line, I cannot have a 9, 8, I can have a 7, 6, 5, 4 are not possible, I can have a 3, 2 is not possible, and a 1. So I can have a 1, 3, 7 here. Similarly, when I look at this cell, I can have, I cannot have a 9, 8, 7, I can have a 6 and a 5, 
4, 3, 2 not possible and a 1. Alright, that 1 is getting hidden by the line, but that's fine. So, now we know that the digits at both the ends of the palindrome have to be the same, right? We have the option 5 and 6 here, which is not possible on the other end. So obviously I can eliminate 5 and 6 from here. And similarly, this end had a 3 and 7, which is not possible on the other end. So I can eliminate the 3 and 7. Now this was a very straightforward example. Let's have a look at this cell. If this is a 9, no, sorry, that's a 9. I can have an 8, 7, 6, 5 is not possible, 4, 3 and a 1. Alright, so we had 6 possibilities. Now the counterpart cell would be this. I can have a 9, 8, 7, 6 is not possible, 5 is possible, 4 is possible, 3 is possible, 2 and 1 are not possible. So the only digits I can have in this cell are 3, 4, 5 and 9. But I can see that 9 is not possible in row 2, column 4, right? So I can eliminate the 9 and neither is the 5 possible. So I can remove the 5 which leaves me with 3 and 4. Both 3 and 4 are available in row 2, column 4. But the other, di other digits are not possible in the opposite end. So we can safely remove the other digits and we get only 2 possibilities for this cell. Alright. So this is how we use the pencil marking technique to solve a palindrome. So let's go ahead and start the puzzle. Now we know this was 1, we have already checked it out so I'll blindly start with that and this was a 3 and a 4 so this would be a 3 and 4 and I always prefer to start at the edges so that I can be sure which digit is going to be there. Now this cell, I cannot have a 9, 8, 7, 6 and 5. 1 also is not possible. This has to be 2, 3 and 4. So I know the other end has to be among these three options. But 2 is already available. So I can remove the 2 from there. And this also becomes a 3 and a 4. Alright. Now, from 3 and 4, if I were to mark this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, correct? And from the opposite direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So now when I look at the digit 7, it cannot be in these two. It's not here. So there are only three places for the 7. Out of these three places, two are on the palindrome. And that position is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So here if I look at it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 cannot contain a 7. Alright, so 7 has to be in these two. And though I know I tried to explain it the long way, silly me could not see the basic classic rule. I have a 7, 7 and 7. So the 7 has to be in these two opposite cells. Similarly, the 8 as well. So this becomes a pair on 7 and 8. But this is the 6th cell. So this also has to be a 7 and an 8. Alright. So the 8 cannot be in the 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th cell again. So here 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th. It cannot be an 8. 8 cannot be here. So this again becomes a 7 and 8 pair. So 7 and 8, 7 and 8 gives me a 7 and 8 here. And this becomes a 2, 3, 4 triplet here. Good. Now I see that this 9 cannot be on the palindrome. So the entire path of this palindrome cannot be a 9. So the 9 in box 6 has to be in these two, which makes this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is not possible, 6, 7, 8, and 9 is logged up here. So we've got something to go. Next would be, da, 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 how do we go there? All right, 5, 5, so this is a 5. So 1, 2, and 3 makes this 1, 2, and 3 becomes a 5. All right, now the 6. 
cannot be in these two has to be on this palindrome after the pi so either one two three on the fourth or the fifth fifth cannot be a six because we have a six here so this is a six so we can blindly place the six on the fourth step all right six cannot be here it cannot be here six is not there along this so on this column nine is only one place for the six so I can have a 3-9 pencil mark and a 3-4-9. Now that again gives me a triplet of 3-4-9. And the only place for 2 is beside the 6. So again I can go ahead and place the 2 here. So, so far, now the 2 of box 1 is logged in column 2 and 3. Right? So the 2 here with this 2 makes this as a 2. What? remains is 1, 3, 4 and 1, 3 which again is a triplet on 1, 3 and 4. Now, 5, 5, right? In box 4, 5 can be here or here. But if it's on the palindrome which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th position, I would require the 5 on the 6th position from the opposite direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But since we already have a 5 in the column, we know that this cannot be a 5. So, this becomes a 5. Now, what is left along this last row? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 8. We have a 6 here. So, this is a 5, 8. 5, 6, 8. And this is a 6, 8. I get a 3, 7, 3, 7. Now let's see what is possible in the second cell of this. I can, I can have a 1, 2 is not possible, I can have a 3, 4, 5, I can have a 6. I'm sorry the 1 is getting hidden by the line. I can also have a 7, 8 is not possible, 9 is not possible. So I have 1, 3, 6 and 7. So when I look at it from this direction, I can have a 1, 3 is not possible. 4 is not possible, 5 was not there, so I cannot have a 5 here, 6 is not possible, 7, 8 is not possible, and a 9, but I don't have a 9. So the only options are 1 and 7, so I can eliminate the 3 and 6, because these numbers have to be the same. Alright, now, what next? 4 is logged up here, so this 4 is part of these two, right? So let's place fours there, which are placed here again, and we are fine with that. Now what? Okay, one, eight. So this becomes a pair of one and eight, which makes this a pair of four and for the column, I have a nine, eight, seven, six, five, 4 is not there, it's locked here, 3 cannot be a 2, okay, so this has to be a 2 and a 4, but we have a 2 here, so this becomes a 4, uh, sorry, this becomes a 2, so we know that this will be a 2 and this will become a 4, that leaves us with 3 and a 9 for this box. Now, when I look closely, this is a 7, 8, this is a 1, 8, and this is a 1, 7, and these three form a triplet on 178. Hence, I cannot have a 7 here. That is my 3 and this becomes a 7. And if this is a 3, this has to be a 9. Uh, sorry. 9. So, this becomes a pair on 3 and 4. So, I have a 178. That leaves me 6, 6, a 6 here. Alright. Now, I have a 6, 6, the 6 has to be part of these 3 cells. But if it was on the palindrome, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th or 6th cell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. But we can't have a 6 in these 2 cells because we already got the 6 in the box, right? So I know the 6 cannot be here. The 6 will be here. This becomes a 5, 8. Right? 5, 8, 7, 8. This was a 1, 7, so this would be 
again a 1 7 because of this 9 will have to be placed here and the counterpart would be here so I have a pair of 1 7 which makes this an 8 and this becomes a 7 so 8 8 8 has to be in these two but I got an 8 here so that's an 8 oh my bad we can also have it I missed out this pencil mark So I can have the 8 in row 7 or here. So 1, 7, 1, 7. Oh, this 4. Sorry, I can eliminate from here. And that would be a 2, 3. So that's a 2, 3, 1, so 2, 2, over. That's a that's straight forward 2. So this is a 3, 4. So I require a 1, 5, and 8. So this is a 158, this is a 158, that leaves me with 3 and a 6, right? So I had 8 was not here, 8 was locked in this column, right? So this is a 7, this is an 8, which makes this is a 7, this is an 8, so that's a 1, 8, 1, and a seven. Seven, seven. That gets a seven, which conforms to the palindrome rule, which makes this is a one. So perfect, and this again becomes a five eight. But with the one here, this becomes a five. This is an eight. That's okay. So this becomes a five, and that's an eight. Right. So three six nine one one that's my one so that's a three that's a four three four since I have the fours here this also will become a pair of fours that gives me a three here so four four this is a four this becomes a nine that's a 9 because I have a 9 here and here. For the row 8, 3 and 6 are missing. But I got a 6 here. So, sorry. This will be a 3. This is a 6. This is a 3. And this is a 6 with a 5. Got a 9. So that's a 3. That's a 9. And finally, 1 and a 3. Right? Yep, just making sure the solution is correct. <laughs> Hope you guys like this. You can try out this puzzle. This will be, the URL will have SMPAL1, that is Sulokomaniac's Palindrome 1. And the second bonus puzzle will have SMPAL2 that you can play online or just take a snip, uh, use a snipping tool, take a screenshot and solve it on the paper. Do let me know what your solving times were, how you find this uh, palindrome Sudokus, the quality also, because it's difficult and it's not easy creating handcrafted Sudokus on a daily basis, you know. As is, I already create two Sudokus for my website, a classic and a variant. So it's becoming an extra, what do you say, efforts here, but which are totally justified and required. That's the least I can do for you guys. So I hope that you guys continue giving us that love and affection that you've been showering us with and hope you enjoy these sudokus. So till the next time, happy solving.